You dropped the light. All right, thank you. I ain't saying a damn thing until I get my hat. My name is Keith Marshall. Born in Houston, Texas. I don't remember how many zombies I've killed so far. They started out like any other day. I was working in class, else he was teaching, giving a lecture. I remember the thing I was feared the most about was not turning my homework, it's, and it was due. <laughs> All of a sudden, the intercom went off, telling everyone to evacuate the school. The virus has completely devastated over 150 of the world's major regions, and then is spreading rapidly. At this point in time, we know of only one method of killing the creatures, or to destroy the brain. Be on the guard of any loved ones who may have recently been in any sort of contact with the infected. And if you so find yourself in a threatening position, please do not fashion. hesitate to act. Let's go ahead and leave. Please. This is not a test. Stay here. This is not a joke. <laughs> we as a species I'll be are back. overwhelmed. I think we I'll found a cure, so just stay here. Plus, he told me I couldn't leave until I finished my project. Even if the world is going to end. <laughs> uh, little did he know, I really was. I never saw him again. I just wondered what happened to him. It was a pretty big shock to us all. I didn't know what quite to think. I barricaded myself in the room. I deprived myself from all human contact. Hearing the screams of my friends right outside the door. I don't think I'm ever the same. I'll never be the same. I had to, my group, we had to go. We, we couldn't stay there. Just too many memories of friends. We need to get supplies. We need to survive. That was all we cared about. We lost some good men on the way. <laughs> Our group was just filled with a bunch of old friends and family that we knew before this all went down. Trust them with my lives. I hope they do the same for me. We go wherever the road takes us, I'm trying to survive, I'm trying to fight for our lives, I'm trying to kill as many of those bastards before they overwhelm us. Hopefully, we'll find a cure. Hope has forsaken us. Ah! What's that camera doing here? What do you want? PFC, Hernandez, John. From Houston, Texas. How many zombies I killed? <laughs> Obviously, I didn't kill enough. Obviously. What happened to me? What didn't happen to me that day. All I did was went to go visit a friend of mine, Daniela. Just a simple visit to the school. Walking around, we were talking, just chilling with each other. And all of a sudden, I, I heard, I hear the intercom go on. The virus has I hear the virus, something about the virus. All these things happening. The region's been taken over. Just, we were outnumbered. So, I mean, I didn't know what to do. Well, what, what was I supposed to do? Huh? What was I supposed to do? I went out to my car. I told Danielle to follow me. In my haste, I just I ran up there. I turned around. She wasn't there. Well, that's, what, was I supposed to go back? Go, go search for her? No, I went up there. I got my backpack, I got all the stuff that I needed. I went back into the school. She wasn't, she wasn't there. She wasn't there. I, 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 I didn't know what, to, I didn't know what to do. All right. I just, I just didn't know what, I didn't know what to do, all right? Can we not talk about this? Sorry. I just really don't like talking about that, all right? So after all that, I ended up searching around the school. I went up to the second floor, and barricaded myself in one of, the, one of the rooms. I set up a team around me, set up a perimeter, 
told some of them to watch the door, some of them to watch the windows, and just some of them just to keep me company. You have to have a team to back you up, bro. I wasn't alone. What do you think? An apocalypse is happening outside of the virus is hitting us. I had to have my team with me. I saw a bunch of mannequins in there, so I, I posted them up. I told them to watch, I told them to watch over. Full security. During one of those days, a skinny little white boy walked through the room. His name was Keith. He took me downstairs and he introduced me to a bunch of a bunch of the other guys that were down there. And that's where I met Charlie. Of course. Charlie was an old friend of mine. <laughs> Charlie. We all we all got together, shared info, shared supply with each other. And from then on we formed a formed another team with each other. The mission of course. Of course to survive. My mission, I'm gonna find a cure. I'm gonna fix this problem. I promise. That's what's gonna happen. Amen.